All my thoughts are running Running round inside my head Emotions keep coming They're keeping me from thinking straight Thought it would be different When I got my things in place Stuck in this commotion How come I ain't past this yet? I wanna me that be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it I try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same Even though I changed Really made an effort Guys, look how big Chip is getting It's actually getting ridiculous Say hi, Chip He's like, why'd you wake me up from this nap? <laughs> How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the next video of my medical school clerkship series or whatever we're gonna call it. I'm currently on my psychiatry rotation, but this video is going to be about my internal medicine rotation, which is the last one that I had completed. One of the biggest differences between plastics and my IM rotation and psychiatry, which I'm on right now, is just how much more free time I've had to myself, which has been so nice. Like today I went to the park and did some flips and rode my e-board around, which was really relaxing. And speaking of the e-board, as you guys can probably tell, this video is sponsored by Pauseway. If you guys have been watching my videos anytime after last summer, you know that I've been riding Pauseway's e-boards around for a while now, and I absolutely love them. They're so much fun, they go super fast. The board that I was riding around at the beginning of this video is the Pauseway T3, which is the board they just sent me. It has a top speed of 30 32 miles an hour with a max range of about 20 miles, which is absolutely insane. And up until now, I've been riding their V4, which is also a great board. It's a lot of fun. I know I like to go to campus and ride it, or I like to like go and pick up some groceries from like the local like convenience store right down the street. And it's just more fun than taking the car because you can get some fresh air. And overall, it's just a lot of fun. You guys can get $15 off with any of their boards using my coupon code, Sean Anderson. I'll have all the information in the description box below. Make sure to go check them out. Anyway, let's start talking about internal medicine. So if you guys have heard about internal medicine, they're pretty much some of the most overworked doctors in the entire hospital. The internal medicine team is basically the quarterback of a patient's care. Like they literally have to address every single one of the patient's issues and determine if they have to get any other specialties on board and consult them like psychiatry, cardiology, surgery, literally anything the patient needs, the internal medicine team is like the center team that coordinates their care. Like I mentioned in the last video, my school does rotations every two weeks. So I did two weeks of internal medicine. The first week was night float, which is exactly what it sounds like. It was overnight shifts from Monday night all the way through to Saturday morning. And then the second week was called ambulatory, which is basically like clinic. We're essentially seeing patients as like their primary care for like regular scheduled visits. Pretty much again, just like primary care during, you know, normal business hours. And it was kind of cool because the, uh, you know, the night flow portion where you're seeing patients in the hospital, you're like admitting those patients and like figuring out what's going on with them like right then and there versus the second week having the ambulatory component. It was really cool to see like the difference with like continuity of care. Okay, so in terms of my schedule for night flow, I was basically showing up to the hospital every single night around 7 p.m. We would kind of get there, we'd hang out a little bit. The residents would kind of do like handoff where the day team would tell the night team about what's going on with the currently admitted patients. And then from that point on, we're kind of just like waiting for the ER to page us and like tell us that they have a patient that they would like to admit. And when they did that, we would then go to the emergency room and go see that patient, you know, pretty much do an entire history and physical. So in my previous rotation, the plastic surgery rotation, we didn't do any of that. We're literally just operating and then kind of checking up on them to see that the you know operation went well. This time we're actually talking to patients, finding out why they came to the hospital, getting their entire medical history, their entire problems list. It was like very, very, very involved. And then after seeing the patient, we would write a note about them and we kind of like, you know, write an entire like history paragraph, entire review of systems, physical exam, uh, and then an assessment and plan of what like we think we need to do to make sure that this patient gets the care that they need. So we would do that all night. And then the following morning around 7 a.m. is when the attending would show up to the hospital and then we would have to present the patients that we saw and then you know wrote a note on overnight to the attending. And this is something you practice as a first and second year medical student. So it was nice to finally get to do it like 
in the real world with like real patients to real attendings versus just for like, you know, practice patients in class. And then after we finish presenting to the attending, we go as a team and we round on all the patients that got admitted overnight. So it's pretty tiring because you're pretty much there from seven o'clock to about like nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, depending on when you finish rounds. And that is a long day. And that was five days in a row. So I had Saturday and Sunday off so I can kind of get back onto a daytime schedule. And then the following week was the ambulatory component where I was literally showing up to a clinic at like, 8 a.m. and I would pretty much staff with an attending or a resident and I would go see their patients with them. The typical flow of this is that the attending or the resident would tell me what patient to go and see. So I would review their chart really quick, kind of like inform myself what happened, you know, the last time they were seen, which was the big difference between, you know, night flow and that week was that there was actually like continuity of care. So there were already notes on the patient, you know, if they had been seen like a month ago, three months ago, six months ago, a year ago, I could actually, you know, see what they were seen for and like kind of like update myself on their current care, any medications they're on, any diagnoses they currently have. And then I would review that and I would go into the room and I'd be like, hi, my name is Sean. I am one of the medical students working with your team today. So pretty much just making sure that they were okay with me talking to them. And usually they were because they get pretty much like double the amount of attention. Uh, and then after talking to them, I would leave the room. I would go talk to the attending or the resident and present the patient to them. You know, why they're here, what they're hoping to get out of the visit today, any changes since the last time that they were seen. And then I would go back in the room with the attending or resident and pretty much do the whole visit over um, with them. And you know, after or before the attending a resident would kind of like teach me things, you know, any learning points based on that patient, whether it was about any medications they were on or diagnoses or like care plans. It was a lot to learn and I really enjoyed this rotation because of it. And that was the overall flow for that entire week. So internal medicine in general, my thoughts are it is very involved. Internal medicine doctors have to know a lot about such a wide range of diseases, you know, medications, plans, like all these things the internal medicine team has to know because again, they're coordinating most of the patient's care. And it just blew my mind, like how smart these attendings and residents were. Like they know literally everything about anything about like all these different conditions. And I just thought it was like so impressive. For that same reason, I also thought it was a little bit stressful because you really have to tackle every single problem that that patient has and kind of come up with a plan for each problem. And some of these patients, their problem lists were like really long, like super long, like more than like seven, eight, nine, ten 10 items to address. And it just really speaks to the fact that like, you know, patient care isn't necessarily just like one problem, fix it and move on. You know, it's very complicated. You know, there's a lot going on per patient. Every patient was like really unique. And again, just great learning experience overall. One of my biggest goals with this rotation was to start studying for step two. And I felt like I am was the perfect rotation to start with because again, you're hitting so many topics, so many high yield pathologies like hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, you know, heart failure. And so I was able to start doing practice quests questions, Anki cards. I would unlock Anki cards based on patients we saw and practice questions I got wrong. So I just felt like there was a lot of opportunity for learning. And you know, even the attendings and residents were such amazing teachers. They always took time to like talk about different concepts and make teaching points out of pretty much every single patient. So can I see myself doing IM? Honestly, yeah. One of the specialties that I'm most interested in was emergency medicine. And this kind of like touches on that a little bit because you go and see patients in the ER that need to get admitted. So it kind of scratches that itch, but then it also has a component of getting to really be involved in the patient's care plan, which emergency medicine, you're not really involved in their care. You're kind of more doing like triage, like are they gonna get discharged or admitted, right? You're not really caring for the patient. And so it kind of gives you a little bit more of that. And I just like the range of things you can do. You know, you can go on and specialize after residency, you can do a fellowship in like so many things Things, right like cardiology GI so if you're not sure exactly what you want to do but you know it's not surgery peds emergency psychiatry derm or radiology or you know a couple other specialties then you do IM because then you can specialize through IM so it's a really good specialty for those who still aren't sure what they want to specialize in or if they just want to stay in IM and just be involved in such a broad range of care that being said it is really difficult you have to know a lot they were so like updated on the literature and the current like you know treatment guidelines that I was like how do they even like retain all this and remember all this but again for that reason I think it is such a cool specialty the things I could have done better as a student I felt more proactive 
on this rotation as a medical student than I did on surgery because surgery you kind of like feel like you're in the way you know it's kind of hard to get your hands in and like working on the patient versus this rotation I just felt like way more involved like I was actually going and talking to patients and then coming back and talking to the attendings and residents so I just felt like more of a member of the team and so I felt like I was able to play into what I believe is my strength uh, as a person which is like talking I always felt like talking to people and connecting with them is something that um, I enjoy doing and so I was able to play into that with this rotation and so I like that but what I think I could have done better was kind of just being more knowledgeable like one of the pieces of feedback I got was um, I was seeing a patient and I kind of like asked them questions about like depression and kind of did like the whole ciggy caps but then the attending was like well like if you felt like they were depressed you should have done a PHQ-9 so right like that's like a screening modality that I didn't even like consider so it's things like that that will kind of make you stand out as a student. So that was the advice that I got. That's like if I if I really think something's going on, you know, keep going and explore that and use the correct screening modalities in order to, you know, do that. Or like look things up more. She's uh, one of the attendings is like, you know, please like Google things on your downtime. Like like make it, you know, at least look like you're really looking things up. Uh, and so um, I guess that's something I should have been doing a little bit more of and I'll do on future rotations But other other attending said it, I did an okay job. So it was overall a good rotation I really enjoyed it. I could see myself doing I am I still have three more I am rotations So, you know two weeks each six weeks total um, So I have a lot of time to figure out if this is what I want to do Anyway, I don't want to drag this video out too long I feel like I've been rambling so if you guys have any questions about internal medicine Just ask in the comment section below the next video will be about my psychiatry rotation Which I'm on right now which spoiler alert I absolutely love this has been such a fun rotation so I'm excited to share that experience with you guys huge shout out again to Pauseway for sponsoring this video make sure to check them out thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one really made an effort promise I would change but something stay the same wanted to do better